think like you had with Ortiz, you'll ever have a moment like that with Fury. You know, I like I know Ali and Frazier, they hit Nah. Okay. Never. Because I know the truth behind that. I don't I don't I don't condone and cheating and shit like that. I know that no matter what people say. It's just like people use this, you know, yeah, analysts or whatever. If he if he did have something in the glove or if he did say why did you not go to the authorities? And I wish I was in front of them, I can grab their collar. And I would grab their collar and put them close to my face so we can be eye to eye, face to face, so much that my breath touched their face. And I would tell them, why the fuck would I go to the authorities when I have an opportunity to release my own energy and put my hands upon him and the possibility of trying to kill him and get paid millions of dollars doing it? Go to the authorities. Okay, go to the authorities. They lock them up. Then what, what's next? That's it. A good write-up. Okay, we proved our case. Nobody getting fed. What justice did that done? That don't make no sense. That that sounds like somebody that don't that's not non confrontational that don't supposed to be in no combat sports because their mindset ain't ain't set on combat. It's set on being nice. So what's the, that old theory? Don't even make sense to me. Like why would we do that when we we are in the hurt business? This is what we do. I can hurt you and get paid doing it. That sounds like a sweet deal to me. And once again, those are the words of Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, as he once again expresses <clears throat> his feelings about Tyson Fury and the allegations of cheating. He feels that Tyson Fury cheated him. That's why there won't be a certain saga to go or to move forward to. Um, and he responds on why didn't he call the authorities because he had an opportunity to get millions of dollars to perhaps kill him and uh, to get his revenge on him. Glaze a glaze, right? And let me counterpunch. Um, we know Tyson Fury ain't the model citizen. You know, he's, you know, he bullshits from time to time. And I know he pulled some, you know, cut some corners, pulled some strings, you know. Um, but cheating, I don't think that he cheated in the way that people think he cheated. You know, I don't, I, I still don't think that. Um, I think he wore the same gloves that he wore in the second fight and the third. Now, if he wore, uh, the, if he would have wore the, a different pair of gloves or a different brand of gloves, people could say more, but he used the same gloves. And then he addressed it <clears throat> to Deontay Wilder. And I think Wilder didn't really want to say too much, but I will say this. I think Deontay Wilder wanted his justice in the third fight. He wanted to inflict pain upon Tyson Fury. He wanted to hurt Tyson Fury. But most importantly, he wanted to show everyone that Tyson Fury cheated him. And you know what the narrative would have been if Deontay Wilder would have knocked out Tyson Fury? It's easy. The first thing would have came out of Deontay Wilder's mouth is like is the first thing he would have, he said in the first fight that Tyson Fury can't punch as you can tell he couldn't hurt me as you can tell that uh the punches didn't affect me that's why we knew he was cheating but that's all right I knocked him out and I hurt him badly doing it and I hope he has permanent damage from here on out that's would have been the narrative and I think a lot of people was expecting that to happen that believe that Tyson Fury put something in his damn gloves. The only problem with that was, and it always baffles me on, if it was just one thing that that Deontay Wilder believed, but it was his it was his camp, like on JD's, JD's supposed to saw that shit, you know, so it was his fault. He didn't fire him. He fired his uh, black trainer, Mark Breland, the referee, the Spike Water. You know, like, like it was just too much going on that it just sounded like everybody was against him, but it just seems like somebody was once again in denial that they got their ass beat by somebody that couldn't or didn't supposed to know how to punch. And I think it's embarrassing to say the least. I think what it is, is I would feel embarrassed if I said someone couldn't get couldn't punch and they knocked me the fuck out. 
<laughs> or they dropped me the way he, Tyson Fury dropped Wilder in the second fight, okay? And then the third fight, he knocks you spark out. So, you know, but was it with one punch? No, it wasn't with one punch. I don't think Tyson Fury has like that devastating power, you know, because I don't buy the D Dillian White because we all know Dillian White is uh, subject to uppercuts. He's vulnerable to uppercuts. So that, that was already there. Okay, Povetkin, Joshua, uh, Rivas, they all showed the blueprint on how to take Dillian White out. So I don't believe that's like one punch knockout power. I don't believe that. I don't, be I don't believe that Tyson Fury has one punch knockout power before people start jiving. But I do think he has more power than people give him credit for. Just like I think Floyd Mayweather has more power than people give him credit for. Just like I think people, uh, Muhammad Ali has more power than people give him credit for. They don't have to have one punch knockout power. What they have to have is accumulation of punches and, and good, accurate punch placement. And that's what beat Deontay Wilder. Not shit in his gloves. Not the loose, floppy, whatever the case may be type of gloves that it almost fell off. And that, no, I don't, I don't believe any of that shit. I think... Wilder got beat, and Wilder uh, really supposed to have humbled himself by getting that ass whooping the third time, but uh, obviously that ain't came and it won't come. That's just Wilder. Wilder, nobody will convince Wilder uh, otherwise. You know what I mean? So I don't think that will be. I think that will always be a stronghold for Wilder. I think he will always think that Tyson Fury cheated him because he has to find a logical reason, reason to deal with that defeat. He just has to. You know, and in going to the authorities, you know, for uh, getting justice, besides going to the authorities, okay, you fought him. All right, that shit didn't work. So now it's time for you to really bring justice to the forefront if you knew plan A didn't work. How about plan B? Do what you say you're going to do and unload all these mountains of evidence against Tyson Fury and shut him down once and for all. Because you remember, we did hear Deontay Wilder say that they have some type of uh, thing with the WBC that's forcing Tyson Fury to leave or to drop the belt. If you guys remember that. So if there's any truth to that, let's see it. My people are from Missouri. You got to show me. You got to show me. You can't just say shit and have a lot of other people believe in that shit and don't do shit. Okay, you got to show me what you're talking about. And I think since the third fight has happened, it's time for Deontay to start unloading with this evidence he says he has, that he has all types of YouTube uh, uh, channels uh, making all types of lies about. We got to see that actually happen once and for all. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder, once again, stating that Tyson Fury cheated him. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.